This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very, very special guest this morning is Ken Broadbent, who is the business manager for Local 449 of the Steam Fitters Union right here in Western Pennsylvania. Ken, always good to be with you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good, good morning, John. So I wanted you on the show because this coming week is National Apprentice Week. And a lot of folks may not quite understand what an apprentice is all about, but you folks in the building trades here in the Pittsburgh area have been taking an exceptional lead in the country in developing apprentices, creating jobs, training for jobs that are in our region. So I thought it was appropriate to have you on. Tell us a little bit about what exactly is an apprentice? Well, an apprentice is a young person, man or woman, that works with journeymen out in the field, and they go to school either during the day or at night at various building trades unions like ours, the Steamfitters Union, and they learn a trade. They normally start at about 40%, 45% of the wages, half the wages, and health coverage. And then every year, ours, for instance, get a 10% increase until they get the full journeyman scale or package. But it's a way to teach a younger person the trade. All of the apprentices need to learn skills that they can make money for contractors and complete projects so that they're able to eventually become a journeyman and be able to do things with their expertise because every trade's got their expertise, whether it's a bricklayer, an electrician, or a plumber. Nobody's better than someone that's trained for at one skill that they get very good at and do it repetitiously time after time. Well, I uh, particularly uh, am impressed with your program and some of the other trade unions in Pittsburgh because your training facilities are second to none. They're really awesome looking. And these young folks can come in, I, I take it right out of high school and participate, be part of this, and they get paid while they're going to school, right? Yes, and you make a good comment. A lot of the apprentice schools in Western Pennsylvania are some of the best, the building trades apprentice schools are some of the best in North America. The money and time that we put into it, for instance, our school is only four years old, cost $18.5 million, and it's 75,000 square feet. The ironworkers is one of the best in the country. The carpenters, the electricians, the operating engineers, all of them do such a good job training. And I want to let you know, John, that Governor Shapiro is talking about coming to our school next Tuesday. It is Apprentice Week, as you mentioned, and the governor's put it on his schedule to be there with the Secretary of Labor, Nancy, Nancy Walker, and they're going to tour our school because the governor just introduced in July 31st a appropriated $400 million for pre-apprenticeships and apprenticeships. And labor and industry, Nancy Walker, Billy Trusky, through the guidance of the governor, they oftentimes give grants to the steam fitters and building trades so that we can train more people. Because all the training is for free because we put a dollar an hour off of each worker's back because into a joint apprentice fund, which is labor and management. But the training is for free for the apprentices. Where else can you get free training to learn skills to make a middle-class way of life? Well, and as you point out, you know, Governor Shapiro has been very strong on the notion that not everybody needs a college education. And the truth is that a lot of our trades folks get a superb education through these apprentice programs and then go on to make six-figure salaries, frankly, within a very short period of time. Uh, I've always been amazed at that. So this is a worthwhile program. And thank you again, Ken, for the work that you're doing and that your union is doing in this area. And I think if folks are interested, they can get in contact with you via the website, right? Yeah, you can get any of the building trades websites and to pull them up. And you'll get great information. We tell young people all the time, research somebody before you go to talk to them. You want as much information as possible before you go on an interview or you reach out to somebody. And a matter of fact, John, there is a job fair next weekend, Friday and Saturday, on November 17th, that Friday, for high school kids to learn about the trades and other occupations. And then they can bring their families if they want on Saturday 
from 8 to 12, and that's all down at the convention center in the city of Pittsburgh. Well, thank you again for your leadership, Ken, in this apprentice program. It's so greatly appreciated. Very much good to be with you. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.